Well, hello there. Are you thinking of living in Toronto, moving to Toronto? Well, there's something that is here every single year, and it's the X, otherwise known as the CNE, otherwise known as the Canadian National Exhibition. And I can tell you, as a born and raised Torontonian, I have pretty much gone there every single year of my life. And as a family, my family growing up, and now my family, we love it. So many great memories to be had. Make sure you go. It's the last couple of weeks in August and it always ends on Labor Day. And that last weekend, we also have an amazing air show. So like I said, if you're thinking of living in Toronto, moving to Toronto, this is going to be a must in my opinion. And I really love the X. Can you tell? Okay, so let's look at some tips that I have accumulated over the years. And I can tell you our family follows this all the time and it works. So let's take a quick look at those tips. Oh, and by the way, at the end, I am going to give you a tip regarding parking because that can be crazy. So I am going to give you a tip that I know will help make your visit better. You'll save money, you'll save stress, you'll save your legs, and you'll be able to enjoy the entire day at the X without just burning out around, you know, a few hours in after seeing so much in the summer heat. Because yes, Toronto's warm in the summer, believe it or not, it doesn't snow all the time. <laughs> I think people think up in Toronto, we, uh, we have a much colder climate. We have four full seasons and I can tell you, August is hot. It's gonna be warm. You want to be prepared. So let's have a look. What better way to sort of refer you to some of the information than to have the CNE uh, website open. First thing, you want to schedule your day and you want to pick your day that you want to go based on what's happening at the X that day. Some performances run every day. Some performance do not. The same goes for all of the exhibits, the attractions. Make sure that you take some time to go through the schedule to pick the day that has the most to offer based on what you want to see. So when you go up here to plan your visit, you can go to the schedule and there you go. So everything that's on, the time that it begins, you can go to any calendar date throughout the X and you'll find what's happening. And I would also suggest if you choose something very specific that you want to see when you're at the X and it has a special time, put reminders on your phone because there's nothing worse than being on one side of the X and realizing that the show you really wanted to see is on the other side of the X and there's no way you're gonna get there or you're gonna get there last minute and maybe the doors will be closed by the time you get there or it may be full. So use reminders for those specific things that you really don't wanna miss for your visit. All right, so you can see this is a map of the CNE grounds. This red above this line. This is the Gardner Expressway going into the center of Toronto, which is over there. So it is really on the western side of Toronto. It's obviously right on the lake, which is wonderful. And it is very big. This is actually Lakeshore. So it's sort of sandwiched between Lakeshore and the Gardner. And I can tell you, you will be doing a lot of walking. There is so much to see there. So please be sure wear comfy shoes, even bring extra socks. You're going to be doing a lot of walking. Seeing as it is so large and it's August and there's a lot going on, so much walking, it is very easy to get dehydrated. So be sure you stay hydrated. So maybe bring extra water with you or a collapsible water bottle that you can easily fill up. I mean, you can buy water on the grounds and sunscreen, especially if it's going to be one of those sweltering August days and hat. Again, if it's going to be one of those sweltering hot August days. Okay, well, for our family, the X is all about the food. <laughs> 
I mean, whenever you go to a fair or something like this, you know you're going to get some really cool food. I mean, there is an actual food building at the X. There are food trucks. There are food vendors throughout the entire exhibition. So you are not going to go hungry at the X. And I can tell you they also have unique food and very eclectic food every single year. So be sure to check what's on offer and maybe tempt yourself or challenge yourself or your family to try at least one thing. I know this year I have heard about cheeseburger ice cream. I have heard about a watermelon burger, something with chicken and blueberries. And the other thing that I found was kind of strange but it almost sounds like it might be good, is a peanut butter corn dog. So yes, bring your appetite. Maybe bring an antacid or two just in case things go sideways. But enjoy the unique food. It really can, uh, it really can have a great effect on your day just knowing that you tried something that you'll probably never see again. So as I mentioned previously, there's a lot to see And there are a lot of shows and live performances at the exhibition, and most of them are included in your admission price. So definitely plan to see some of the shows, and here are the various stages that are located throughout the X. So as I was saying before, those reminders go well, because if you're over here, let's say, and you realize you want to see something at the international stage, you have quite a hike. So definitely know where all of these stages are throughout the X. And last but not least, let's talk a little bit just about guest services. There are plenty of places that you can take a break during your day, and I highly recommend that because it's easy to get caught up in the excitement and just be exhausted within a few hours. So take breaks, just spread your time well so that you can be fresh pretty much from the start of your day to the end of your day. If you can get there early, like 10 a.m. when it opens, you will have even more fun. It'll be cooler, it'll be less busy if there's certain popular attractions that may fill up as the afternoon and evening um, arrives, and you can sort of pace yourself. It's a relaxing start to the day. So if you can get there early, I would definitely suggest that. There's restrooms throughout the whole grounds. There's information booths. There's first aid, guest services, lost children, lost husbands, lost friends, lost things. So guest services is great, and they're throughout the grounds. And we also have wheelchair and scooter rentals that um, are available as well. So yeah, they thought of everything. I hope you enjoy the show. Now let's, uh, let's wrap this up and I'll get to that tip that I wanted to share with you. So I hope now you're ready to go to the X. Enjoy yourself, make memories, have fun. Like I said, it's towards the end of summer. Keep these tips on hand, use them. If you have any others, let me know. One memory I have is doggy doggy. Do any of you remember what that is? Or is it just me? You may be looking at me like maybe I've uh, I've lost my mind. <laughs> but it actually is an X memory from when I was very small. So here we go again. Doggy doggy. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you get to the X. I hope you have a wonderful time. Send me your tips. Send me your comments on this year's X. And uh, like I said before, my tip regarding parking. I would say... Park literally as close as you possibly can, and it will make your visit to the X that much more stress-free, restful, and you won't be lugging around stuff. I mean, what if you what if you win one of those huge stuffed animals? You can't walk around the X with that all day. I mean, you look pretty cool, but it gets old. They're not light. <laughs> so walk around the X, show it off, get to your car, put it in the car, come back and start fresh. It will make a difference and no one ever thinks of it. I promise you this. So if you're thinking of living in Toronto, moving to Toronto, reach at any time. I am Toronto born and raised. I love Toronto and I am a full-time realtor. I have connections around the world. So whether you're looking in Toronto or anywhere else, reach out anytime. It would be a pleasure to connect you. We get calls from people all the time. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, 
send me an email and yeah, stay in touch with me. I post usually every week and I would love a like. A subscription would make my day. Tap notifications, stay up to date with me. And uh, yeah, let's go to the X.